Hey everybody, this is Collect to Do. This is Saturday, um, October 6th, um, 2018. <laughs> um, I went to uh, Half Price Books today. Uh, I went to an eye appointment so I can get new contacts. And after that, I there was a Half Price Books right down the street, so you know I couldn't pass it up. But I went there and picked up my uh, stack of books. I got there and I started looking around and I started at the beginning and everything. I was there maybe about a half hour by, by myself and then somebody else came in and he walked in, pulled up a chair and went to the new stuff that wasn't in the boxes that, that were on there already. I just saw him going to him like, bam, 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 bam. I'm like, what is he getting? I'm like, man, he must be getting a bunch of stuff. I like a, a lot of good books. And, um... When he left, I said, you get some good stuff? He goes, oh, yeah, it's because i got a lot of good stuff over there. I'm like, dang it, man. I bet you probably got a whole bunch of stuff. I was there for a half hour, and I didn't walk around and look at everything. I'm like, I bet he probably beat and got me a whole, got a whole bunch of stuff. But when he left, I um, slowly worked over, worked my way over, and I got a whole bunch of stuff myself. I had like, uh, I'd say at least 60 books piled up, and then... Um, after I, from the top and then from that rack that he was on, but most of my stuff came from the rack that he was on. I was surprised how much stuff, different things were on there. It was pretty cool, but, um, it just goes to show you got to make sure I should have just made my rounds around it and looked at everything real quick because I've been through those other bins before and sometimes they'll add new stuff, but the really new stuff is on that rack that they have. They roll it up and I didn't check, but he was there. He was, he, he came in, like I said, about a half. 20 minutes, half hour after I was there, pulled up a chair, walked right over to that thing, was like, bam, 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 and walked over away with a stack, like, I'd say he had at least uh, 30 books. I was like, dang. But then, who knows? Who knows what he got? But it, obviously, he knows, knew what he wanted and everything. But I got some good stuff, too. So I just have to remember, make your rounds. But, okay, this is what I got. Uh, some of this stuff is, like, new. It just, just come out, and... I got a Stranger Things number one. So this is, like I said, I've said on one of my other videos, I love this show. I watched it in Stranger Things 2. It was very good. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Well, that's a different cover. The one that I got was the special Francesco Matina cover with the uh, the creature on the front. I forget what they called the Gorgon or uh, what they called him. But um, that was on the front of that. The painted cover was 10 bucks from Midtown Comics. It was really good. But this was a dollar. So the one that I go to... Um, it has everything for a dollar unless it's marked, but most of the time it's everything for a dollar. Um, and these were other two, other two that I got: Magnus Robot Fighter versus Predator, or Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter. But this, I remember this. I had these books years ago, so I said, you know what? They're not worth anything, but I wanted to grab them again. I love the Barry Winter Smith covers on the front, um, and there's a different artist inside, but the art's not that bad. But it should be a good read. And I'm sure they collected this and everything, but if you, but these for a dollar were good. And I got this. I was this was there a couple of times. I went uh, to this um, half price books. I never picked it up, and I checked it. Um, Korak, Korak, son of Tarzan. And I said, you know, what? let me pick it up because I remember gold key books um, it might be worth something. I think it was like it said it's worth about eight bucks, maybe maybe a little more. But on different sites, I've checked it. But it is clean, nice inside. The um, corners and everything aren't real bad. I'm not sure what you would grade it. But maybe it's a, a very fine or something like it. A fine to very fine book. Wasn't too bad. And the color of the pages were really nice. But it looked really good. This will be fun to read, too. A lot of old, older comics are like that. And I saw these. And this was a World Finest number 159. It was in pretty bad shape. The cover's coming off of it and everything, but I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. Got it for a dollar. And this one's World Finest uh, 183. And this it's just funny the uh, what they say on them and everything. Like uh, Superman's calling Batman a liar. <laughs> and uh, he's trying to frame me. So they're fart fighting amongst themselves and everything. But... Um, this was in not real good shape either, but I thought just for a good read, and I haven't seen them before. I think they're going for okay money if they're in really good condition. But that's the covers, and this is some of the funny stuff that they came up with back then, with uh, the storylines and everything. But um, 
And this one, I didn't realize it was in as in bad a shape as it was, but if, if this was in good shape, it'd be going for really good money. But it was a good reading copy, I thought, and somebody wrote on the back of it there. But I didn't realize it was as bad. You know, when you see a comic in a bag, you're like, oh, that looks pretty good. So you pick it up and look at it, you're like, oh, no, no. See that shiny uh, veneer there? It's covering up a lot of bad stuff, it's like putting makeup on it. But uh, I guess you, know, you, you think, well, hey, should I walk around with a bag over my face, a clear bag over my face? Will I look a lot better? Uh, no, you, and you might stop breathing. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you, you don't want to do that. But uh, This looked, like I said, it looked better in the bag. But uh, when I took it out, I'm like, oh, okay, uh, I wouldn't have bought that even for a dollar. But uh, it's, it'll be a good reading copy, though, just to check it out. And Captain America is a cool, cool character. And now these were something that I picked up that I've been looking for, book four for this for a while. Return of Bruce Wayne. I was looking, I said, please be the ones with the, the special uh, books or variants that are worth a little bit more money. They have just the faces of these guys and everything, but they didn't have them. And th these are all half price books and they're all for a dollar. But I got um, a whole set of these now. I was missing book four. I showed on another video. I got them over here in my boxes over here. But I had another video. I had one, two, three, five, and six. And I've had them for, I'd say, about two months. And I just can't, couldn't find number four. But this is number one here. And just nice artwork, nice covers. That's number one. Here's number two. And I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I started reading number one, but I, I'm not sure what's going on. But I th he's jumping through time. or I'm not even sure how he even got knocked into the past. I'm not sure what the story is. But it's a really cool story. That's number two. Uh, this is number three. He's Blackbeard and everything. And it was this character kind of reminds me of a character by Rob Krauss. He was from uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Well, uh, it, he made a character called um, oh, something Khan, the, the Forever Man, or something like that. I can't, oh, I, I hate that. I can't remember it. But he he was pretty cool. And plus, this is another character too. Uh, from is it from Marvel Comics or Marvel Comics or DC Comics? It, kind of like this, but he's cool. Magic and stuff like that. But that's the pirate characters and this is the one I was looking for Bruce Wayne from the Old West like number four I couldn't find it before and I'm sitting there going oh and I got these I got uh, these for like 50 cents a piece because whoever brought them in had them all in one bag they had them like one and two together two three and four together and five and six together so I paid 50 cents for them and I just, they're out in separate bags, like the Silver Age bags and boards that I buy with the resillable ends. But um, I separated them all myself. So I said, hey, 50 cents a piece, I'll, get, I'll take them. And they had this one called, I don't think it was Ultron versus, Ultron versus the, the zombies. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want that. The artwork didn't look too bad in it, but I didn't pick it up. I might be able to go back, but they had like five issues stuck in one bag and you could get it for a dollar. But I, I mean, just for the deal's sake, I should, I should have bought it, but I was trying to watch. I got 40 books. It was $40, maybe a little bit more with tax. That's number five. And here's number six. He's back. Back as bat. Cool. So that's that. Those were like 50 cents a piece. And then I got these older ones here. Brave and the Bold, Batman. I started reading this one. This looks pretty cool. They, they did a lot of Nazi stuff back then. This is 1979, I think it was. Batman and Unknown Soldier. He's fighting a Nazi on the front. And that adds for Superman 1, the movie, in it, so you know it's a little older. Um, all for a dollar. This looked pretty cool. This is one of the first books I got. This is like on the top. Like I said, the guy walked around and sat down and looked at the newer stuff. But they, what's crazy, they don't mix stuff together. Like I said, I found a lot of stuff in the, in the drawers and everything, but they had a lot more older stuff. And on the rack, so and like I said, I got I got a few of those things. But this is Adventure Comics number what is this? Uh, number four sixty four with Dead Man in it. It looked pretty cool. It's pretty thick too. Pretty thick book. Well, it didn't look too bad. They say it's probably like fine, maybe very good and fine. 
good reading copy and if it's if I look at it, if I were to get it graded, I don't know. Like I said, I know some of the guys say they, they don't, if they get it graded, they don't want it to be any less than the 9.8, 9.6. I've heard people say that. So if they, so if it, I guess if you send it in to CGC and they grade it and uh, they say if it's not a 9.8, they don't do it and they don't charge you for it. I'm not sure exactly. I need to look into that because I'd like to grade some books eventually. This, they had a bunch of these covers here. This is Sandman Universe, number one. The Jim Lee cover, the variant. So I thought that was cool. I grabbed this one. But they had they, Dave McKean and they had um, P. Craig Russell and they had a few other ones there. And I left them. I'm thinking, I don't I don't want to have doubles because I have a set of all of them. I wanted the Jim Lee one because that was popular. But uh, I could have got the rest of them too, like I said, for a dollar each. But I was like, no, I don't want to keep buying them. But who knows? I may go back and get them. But this one looked cool. I couldn't find this anywhere. This is Dark Knight's Metal. The, uh, John Romita Jr. Uh, variant. I couldn't find this online anywhere, how much it's worth going for it. Then I found it. I saw it on Amazon and eBay. I'm not sure how reliable those are, but like I said, I buy books off of there if they're not too high. Like I said, I got some of my Supergirls off of Amazon Marketplace. And hey, I mean, if I couldn't find them anywhere else, I couldn't find them in any comic book stores or anything like that. So I saw them for a fairly reasonable price, maybe a little bit more than a cover. So I got them. But this one was going for 10 dollars the only one that I could see and then I saw one uh, that was graded 9.8 going for like 50 a little more so all these I remember when they came out didn't buy them I said I don't want to keep buying all these books I had a whole bunch of other stuff I was collecting and then when I saw that it just seemed like a gimmick but look at how they're going for crazy prices now so just like Batman damn that's going for crazy prices I'm glad I got one of each cover and if you check one of my other videos I went through the whole uh, book and showing all the artwork. I did two videos of it of Batman Damned to show you the artwork and talk about the artwork. Like I said, I bought it because I wanted the artwork. Like I want to go get Batman Noel and want to go get the uh, one where they did the Joker and he looks like the Heath Ledger or Heath Ledger might have based himself off of that. But I want to get that too and I'll do a video of that. Like I said, I've got a lot of art books to do. They're, they're going to be cool. This one I saw. Um, for a dollar. I got the first three at the same bookstore I go to, and then I saw this one. So I said, oh, get them all for regular, for less than cover price. So um, I, I flipped through the first few books. It looks pretty good. I heard it was a good story, so I'm going to try it out. And Aftershock is coming up with some nice stuff. Uh, Dead Body Bag, or Dead Body Road. I got the first, I think I got the first issue and number three of this. I'm not sure if I got four. But I wanted to get this when it first came out, and I um, chose other books, and then I put it put it back. But um, uh, Image comes out with some cool stories, so I like like the crime noir stories and everything like that, and stuff that like, that's kind of weird, like that when they're dealing with um, criminals and different things like that, doing some crazy stuff. So I said, let me try that and see what that's like. But um, this is another one that was kind of cool. This is from Icon, mature content. I got the first issue, but I never saw the rest of them. But this is Men of Wrath. So this this was there. So this was number two. And this is number three. The first one I liked, I said, you know, and it's it's I think it's kind of like those books they come out with that um they want to try the book out and if it's good they'll keep printing it and it must have done well because I didn't even know those were out. So I got those two for a dollar. These I got for like a quarter a piece because they had all four of them in one bag. Hawkeye versus Deadpool. And this is number three, and it's just funny. I never, I never got a chance to read it. I think I got number issue number one. I never got number zero, but I got it in this. So I'm gonna read it now. That's number three. Oh, I thought I had them in order. This is number two. This is funny. Uh, my glare. That's number two. And they said they were all in the same bag. I thought that was cool. And this is number one. And I got number zero here. And I think that's going for the most money. Depending on, let's see, like if, if nobody wants it, but that's what they're selling it for. I saw it on eBay and I saw it on uh, um, Amazon. And I think it's going for good money on my comics, uh, mycomicshop.com too. So now these were some of the older ones that I picked up. And I was like, wow, that's cool. So um, I got Doctor Strange. I was flipping through and I'm thinking, oh, these look nice. This is. Doctor Strange number 26. And as soon as I saw the older ones, I didn't even look. I, didn't, I sometimes I'll look through 
go, okay, how much this is going through? I'll go through some of my sites and I key collector um, app, or most of the time I go to mycomicshop.com or and I'll check and see what they're going for and I'll grab them. But these, since I saw they were 30 cents, 35 cents, like Bronze Age, I said, throw them in a the pile. This is the part of the pile that, like, like I said, guys are walking by going, oh, you got a plan, huh? And they were laughing. I had like 60, 60 or um, 70 books <laughs> piled up, and they had to walk around me to get to what they were looking for. I was being like in the way, but I had been there, like I think I was there looking through those books for at least two hours, and I'm sitting on the floor, my legs falling asleep. I was there about two hours looking through the books and everything, but I found what I wanted to look through, and then, you know, you I've made a pile, and I should have grabbed a buggy or a cart, and then once I did that, I sifted through and said, okay, put that back, put that back, put that back, and then I ended up with these, ended up getting 40 books, but like I said, that's number um, 26, and this one's number 39, I thought that was cool. And then I got some Spider-Mans. Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man Hammerhead is out. 107. Look at him putting a dent in the spider buggy. What's up with that? Or is it the Spider-Mobile? Yeah, the Spider-Mobile. That's cool. Uh, here's number 108. Marvel Tales. He's trying to stop a wedding. He doesn't want Doc Ock to marry his aunt. I wouldn't want him want him to do that either. With this, what's this? With this ring, I the and then look at this a little play on words. With this ring, I the web. So, the preacher's being a little funny, trying to make it crack a little juke. So that's cool though. And then this is King Size Annual number five. Spider Man meeting everybody. Team up, look at all the people. The thing, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Quasar. It's like, wow. Giant snakes. Should have put Conan in there too. Or Red Sonya or something. But that one was nice. And then I got She Hulk number seven. Thought that was cool. See, a lot of these, like I said, I just threw them in a pile. This one, this was interesting. I didn't, um, I know they made two versions of this. I think Image put out one and DC put out one. Spawn, Batman, Daredevil, or War Devil. So I hadn't seen this in years. At least out in the wild anywhere. And the cover price was like four four something. Four ninety nine, three ninety nine, something like that. And it's um going for about eight bucks, something like that. Nice, pretty thick graphic novel pretty popular when it came out and um, Image put out one and Todd McFarlane did the cover for that one um, DC versus or Daredevil versus Pun Punisher means and ends number one Marvel Knights number one usually when they these two meet up books usually go for a pretty good price so thought that was cool nice artwork um I love these. I said before in some of my other videos, I've been trying to collect all these. Um, if I can save, I'll save. But uh, if I can, I'll spend a little bit more money just to get them. What ifs? I'm not sure if I'm wasting my money, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And now they're. And when I talked about getting them, or when I thought about getting them, I, I didn't realize that uh, Marvel was going to come out with a new What If series, and I've been getting those. I'm looking forward to like the. The Spider-Man as Punisher. That looks pretty cool because they did a play on Mike Zeck's cover when he's shooting all the guns and screaming. Now they got Peter down there shooting his webs. And you can't see him screaming because his face is covered up. But uh, what if the Invisible Girl had died? And see, I'm not sure what the original story is. But I'm going to find out. That's number 42 of that series. For a dollar. And somebody must have went in and gave up their whole collection like that. Some of their older books. Because they were all in a pile like that. And I was like, this guy passed these up. And so I, I said, I'll get them. I, he didn't take everything. But he must have had them already or just didn't want them. Or I don't know. He looked like he knew what he was doing, though. So um, it's just, I'm just thankful that he didn't take everything. He could have. He might have had a budget. Um, like all of us really have a budget. We don't want to get in trouble and not pay the bills. 
but oh, we like what we like, and we're like, okay, what can I not pay this time? And well, I'll do this and do this, and uh, but I don't, I don't do that. I pay, I make sure I pay all my stuff, everything like that. Whatever I got left, that's what I do. Because every once in a while, I might pay too much, but I still pay all my stuff, and then I'll have a little bit of money left over or something like that to go do what I got to do. But I make sure I pay that stuff because I ain't getting nothing repossessed and getting kicked out of nothing. So, but uh, the Logan Legacy. And I saw the, the signature on there. I thought that was cool. He did the variant cover, so. And I think he did, I think he did the artwork in, inside as well. So. And this one I saw on mycomicshop.com for like 150 bucks or something like that. It was a 9.8. Either it was 150 or 50, and and it wasn't signed. So I'm thinking, how in the world do those books go for that? But that's what it was going for. At least that's what he had. Or it was something like that, it's something high. I could be wrong. It might, it might be like because I looked at a whole bunch of different ones. But um, with the signature on, I think that's cool. Like I said, I don't. I said it before. I don't go to too many conventions. So when I see these, or if I see them online for regular price or something, or maybe a little bit more, I'll get them. Uh, this was cool. Special double size 150th issue X Men versus Magneto. All for a dollar. And it wasn't in bad shape either. What, what's what's kind of wild is when you go to these places and they got a ton of books all stacked, and you're like, you're hoping that they aren't, they're not tore or, or smushed or, or torn, and they'll be still in good condition. I'm like, wow. And they're flat. I'm thinking the way they people put the books in the in the drawers and everything like that you'd be surprised how um they're still in good shape because i talked to a guy and i said you really guys realize some of your books are really worth a lot of money he goes well we really don't do that see so he said some stores will go through they'll have people that know a little bit about comics and they'll go through and price them and maybe they'll not keep them close to what they're worth in the book and sometimes they'll or they'll go half of that half price books but um and some of them they don't they're not worried about it they'll just put them in there no matter what they are and you get them for a dollar so if you have a half price books by you and i know a lot of people say they wish they had them i'm not sure when they started and i we even have a warehouse in there in our area that they get a lot of books and stuff for but um uh there's like four or five stores i can go to in my area but uh they're like maybe 20 miles apart in the area stuff like that but um it's a because it's a big city, but uh, they're nice, nice to have. And then, like I said, I listened to Jay Rule and some other people on uh, YouTube, and they start going to them. And I've been to them before. Um, and I said, you know, what? I'm gonna start going to them again. And I'm glad I did because you can really, really find a lot of stuff. And like I said, some people take new stuff in, it's, and they'll have it. They got a section that where they said they show recently released books, and and this one place will, will charge like three dollars a book or two dollars a book because it's new and um the other stuff they have for a dollar but these were cool this is the uncanny x-men number 151 i got this cover and see i'm not sure I remember key comics market watch guy knows a lot more than i do i'm, I'm learning from him but this one has a spider-man i'm not sure if that's the direct market version but that's that with kitty on the front and this one was with it and it's got the newsstand. I think that's the newsstand version. So I got um, one of each. Then uh, the newsstand version, I think, is in a little better shape. You can, I don't, I can't really see. You can see a little bit there on the edges. The edges weren't too bad. But the newsstand version at the top a little bit. And I'm, I'm not sure exactly how they grade. But... Um, It's not too bad. Like I said, when I looked at them, I said, hey. and they weren't in bags either. So they were in pretty good condition. No, these might have been in bags. I had so many of them. I think these were in bags, but the bags were all, you know, all starting to yellow and everything. And I had to be careful when I took them out so they wouldn't stick or anything. But like I said, the newsstand version, and I think that's the direct version, direct market version of um, that issue. Not bad. These are. These, when I saw them, I said, well, I better grab them. This was Uncanny X-Men number 152 for a dollar. 
I thought that was cool. And see, I don't know a lot about these early issues and everything. I remember um, Bob McAdoo where he did the artwork, everything, but I got to study up on them and learn. So when I talk about these, I know a lot more. I know there's guys on there that know these books, and they'll tell you about them. Key, Key Comics Market Watch guy is good at that. He'll show you the book, and he knows about them. But that's because he does his research, and I... Um, I can do it too, is what I should do, so I can tell you about them and explain them. But if you look at it and you see it uh, and you like it, you just push pause. And um, but like I said, it's this is Uncanny X-Men number 152. So if you want to look at it and see how much how much it's going for. Like I said, I paid a dollar for it and it wasn't in bad condition. Here's Uncanny X-Men uh, 153. And you see, look at this. I'm not sure the distance or the time length. This is 50 cents. It went up to 60 cents to the next issue. So, and they'll say that on my comics what or my comic shop.com. They'll say the last time this book is 50 cents and it'll, and it'll show you this, the first book that started 60 cents. It'll, it's pretty cool. It'll give a little bit of information on it. So if you go on that site, when you buy their books, they explain a little bit of stuff in their um, description of the book, but this is number 153. And that looks like newsstand too. If that's what that is. With the barcode and everything. And this was um, Uncanny X-Men number 159. And I guess that's newsstand, if I'm if I'm saying it correctly. Like I said, I gotta look it up. I thought that was cool. As soon as I saw this, they grab it. I just put it in a pile. This one was with another book. And it was on the back of another book. This is X-Men... Number uh, Uncanny X Men number one seventy four. I don't think this goes for much money, but it's just cool to have them. I like the colors. Looks very warm. This guy, I think that's Black Tom. He ain't right. Everything it was kind of funny that the guy that was named Black Tom in the uh, Deadpool two movie. <laughs> and I think you could what Deadpool call him Todd or something like that. Uh, here's. Now it's going through Avengers. This is number 179. Cool. Birdman. No. Bloodhawk. And this one's number 209. So. And again, we can see. Yeah, there it is. So, Avengers 209. This is Avengers 210. Like I said, the guy might have passed them up and he didn't need them. So, I picked them up. So, this was a new one. I got two recently um, released books. Uh, this one's Avengers. It has the Avengers lentic lenticular cover on it. With Avengers Assemble Captain America, number 16 is it? And then it jumps to Defenders number 6. So, I think that's cool how they do that. And then back to Avengers. Well, let me see, what is that? Avengers number 16. Yeah, Avengers number 16. And then Defenders number 6. If I can get it to do it. Completely. There you go. It's kind of a cool idea how to do that. And then this one was there too, for a dollar. Um, this one's Amazing Spider-Man, number thirty-four. No, there we, there we go. Amazing Spider-Man number thirty-four. Craven and Spider-Man. And then you flip it, and it's it's. Um, now let me see if I can get it. Spider-Man and Deadpool versus Deadpool, number 23. If I can get it, yeah, there you go. That's cool. Cool how they did that. But that's the covers I have for now. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. Like I said, I got a lot more art books I wanna do. And let me know what you guys are picking up. If you got a half-price books in your area, 
or what you're picking up at your local comic book stores. Tell me some of the comic book stores that you go to and the owner and how they are and uh, some of your friends and what they do and then what you pick up and everything. It's cool to hear stories from other people, what they're doing, how they pick up their comic books and how they pay their money and how they um, divide it up and make a budget and everything like that. And <laughs> when you spent too much and you know you did and you try to hide them, you're going to put these over. <laughs> <laughs> to the side or something like that but i really don't have anybody to hide it from and everything like that my girlfriend knows i i buy comic books and everything like that she gets on me every once in a while she goes you make sure you pay your bills but um i know better than that like i said i pay my bills everything like that and i have some left over hey it's just me and her and she makes her money i make my money and we're cool but uh, i do my hot wheels i get my video games for my playstation 4 and my art books and stuff like that and it's fun she loves it too she she's even bought me uh statues she'll buy me toys and if she's out somewhere like at a flea market or something like that she asks hey where the comic books at <laughs> and she'll find them and say hey gary if i'm at work she'll call me and say hey gary i found this i'm gonna send you a picture tell me if it's worth anything tell me if you want it and i'm like yeah pick that one up pick that one up pick it no, don't don't pick that one up don't leave that one there but she's cool like that well it's fun we got that um, relationship going like that it's cool and if i see something she likes i'll take a picture and say hey hey babe do you want this or is this something that you needed or something like that if I'm out somewhere so it's cool so if you got somebody that you can work some deals like that with or if you're at work or something like that and you got your wife or your girlfriend or just your friend or somebody like that or your kids or something they say hey dad or hey mom or um hey babe or I saw this uh, uh out what do you want what do you think about this something like that it's cool to have somebody out there hunting for you too when you're when you're um when you can't do it but um, for, for even for toys and stuff like that, and my girlfriend loves going to flea markets and stuff and checking stuff out. Cause she, it's amazing what you can find. And you think like, and nowadays you think people will know better. They know better. They um, with antiques or with uh, comic books or with um, signed stuff or with artwork or photos. And some people just don't care, or some people just don't know. And you, I mean, just because you know or I know or another person knows, that doesn't mean. <laughs> The other person knows or this person knows whatever it's like so if you can go out and find a deal uh, uh you you get it uh, I, I knew a guy he said that uh sometimes he felt led to go you know what i'm gonna tell this person you know this is worth something um i'm gonna pay you the right price for it and sometimes they'll go this thing's worth 100 bucks but how much you want for it but he don't say that he just says in his head how much you want for it oh uh, what do you want to give me for it or five dollars you think well that's good yeah you know okay I'll, I'll give you six dollars oh yeah thank you thank you and boom you walk out with a hundred dollar thing and then sell it for 150 so it's like whatever however you feel i mean however you feel led to do it or something like that you, you don't want to rip people off and stuff like that but like one time a guy gave me a whole about he gave me like 50 books and seven of them were worth something and i looked at them i said man i'm gonna take these home before i say something and i found out they were sandmans some of the early neil game and sandman sandmans and they were one through seven and he didn't have them in bags or boards and everything like that. But surprisingly, they were smashed together and they were perfect. And I got home and I priced them all up and I went back and I said, hey, I might have said this before in one of my other videos. I said, hey, uh, you, you gave me these books and all of them are great. I'm going to look through them, um, read some of them and everything. Some of them I might give away. But uh, you had these books in there and they're worth like close to $500 for all of them. He goes, oh, really? And I said, I wanted to tell you about it. If you want them back, I'll give them to you because I don't want to be ripping you off. I, I, I just didn't feel right. He goes, no, don't worry about it. I don't care. And I said, okay, you know what? I'll, I got a bunch of books that I'm not reading. I got a, And I gave him a bunch of stuff. I gave him like maybe um, 60 books or something of stuff that I hadn't read. Um, and some of the stuff, since I gave it to him, went up in price. And I was like, oh, man. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um I didn't care because I was like, you know what, the books I have and stuff I have, this guy is cool. I was like, you know what, and I let him know, hey, some of the books I gave you are going to be going up in price. And he's doing good, so we help each other out like that. And he might even have more that he's done. And I um, gave him uh, second printings of uh, Ice Cream Man because he likes horror stories like that. So I gave him some of those, and he liked them. And there's other books I'm going to hook him up with too so he can start reading and everything. And he collects comics um, very little. I gave him one of the previews books. And he looked through it. He thought it was cool. When I got another guy that I gave him, give him one um, every month. Uh, I miss a couple of months every once in a while, but um, he likes them too. So, and his son uses them to help him draw. It's just full of artwork and stuff. They're cool. I collect some of them. But um, other than that, but thank you for watching. Uh, 
uh, like I said, comment comment down below. Tell me what you're doing. Like I said, I'm gonna get on these. I'm um, doing these other art books. I gotta get them with my um, Alex Ross one. I got the new Marvelocity I want to do, um, and just Mike Mike Diodato. I gotta finish that one. And Big Guy and Rusty the Robot. I want to do Claws, and I got some other stuff. So I, I got a lot of stuff to be uh, filming, and just I enjoy doing it. And I want you guys to I want to share it with you guys. But thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great night, and Collect the Dude is out.